Thanks for joining us on the program, everyone. We are back keeping tabs on events and happenings in the polity. I am Nifemi Oguntoye. Join the conversation right now on X, formerly Twitter. Remember to use the hashtag Beyond 100 Days and tag at TVC News NG. Uh, let's begin with some story from Benin Republic, where after two years, Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has regained freedom from the Beninese authorities. Lawyer to the embattled agitator Yomi Aliyu confirmed to TVC News in a phone interview earlier that Sunday Igboho was released uh, on Malami's order. The Yoruba agitator had fled from Nigeria in July 2021 following a nocturnal invasion of his Ibadan residence by operatives of the Department of State Services. The DSS claimed they discovered AK-47 rifles, pump-action guns, and 5,000 rounds of ammunition, charms, and other weapons in his house. In a video shared online, Sunday Bo appreciated uh, those who came to his aid during his ordeal in Benin Republic. I give special thanks to President Talon of Benin Republic and to all members of his cabinet. My gratitude goes to my hero father, Professor Bandi Akitoye, and Professor Wali Soinka for the support in the course of the struggle. I God reward you, Baba, for your standing courageously for your urban nation and for me. You promised to stand by me through my ordeal in Benin Republic and you have fulfilled your promise. I will not forget to appreciate former President Udusebi Obasanyo, Abayo, Adebanyo, for their roles. Even though only God gives freedom. Let me use this opportunity to say thank you to all. Pelumi Olajengbesi is counsel to Sunday Bo's aide. So he joins me live on the program this hour for more on this development. Thank you for joining us on Beyond 100 Days. Quickly walk us through the process that led to Mr. Egbo's release from Bene Republic. Um, thank you very much. Good evening. Um, Chief Sunday Egbo, uh, you know, was arrested in uh, Bene Republic and um, he faced um, the due process of law as established by the laws over there. And he was allowed to go freely, having confirmed that um, he's innocent and he has no question to answer in Bene Republic. Uh, he went through a thorough process of legal trial as established by their legal system in Benin Republic. And today is free. He has reunited with his family in Germany and he's doing very, very well. What does this mean for his case back in Nigeria with the, um, the DSS saga? Interestingly, um, Chief Sunday Bo don't really have any serious case in Nigeria because um, if you look at all that we have seen, Essentially, is the fact that um, the DSS at some point wanted to stop him, wanted to arrest him, wanted to gag him because of his campaign for a I mean, for a decent society, because of his campaign for self determination, because of his campaign for the need for us to have security in the southwest and across the country. So you know, Sunday Bo has no case to answer. As a matter of fact, I can confirm to you right now, even though Sunday Bo is in Germany. Uh, there's a there's a small committee working in Nigeria making an uh, effort for um, for his coming back to the country. And so very soon he's going to go back to the country to live his life as a normal citizen. And um, it's going to be a very big event. Um, I was, we're looking at over um, 10 million people to receive him at the International Airport in Lagos. And of course, we're going to inform security agencies, inform the DSS, inform the Nigerian police. And um, I'm sure they're going to provide adequate security for him to return. Did you and just say... Did you say 10 million? I'm wondering where you packed 10 million people. But uh, can you confirm to us, because this is perhaps what many Nigerians would want to know, if Sunday Igboho has dropped his agitation for the, Niger uh, for the Yoruba nation? And so a lot of people misunderstand the scope of Sunday Igboho's agitation. Sunday Igboho's agitation, essentially, the epicenter of it is the fact that government must keep up to its responsibility in ensuring that security is provided for the people. So they both strongly believe in the Yoruba nation's agenda. He believes that the Yoruba nation deserves to have its own nation and is still committed to this cause. But he's committed to this cause in a very peaceful way. He's going to continue with this campaign within the principles 
of the law. And because All we right. do not intend to, as only world do not intend to um, establish um, an unlawful organization, his intention is to see that the Nigerian government will come to reason and whatever must be done will be done All right. within the arrest recognized by law. What about the other aides that were arrested that I believe you represented in court? Yes, uh, they are doing very, very fine. Well, we, they are doing very fine. So they are all very good. And they are still committed to the cause. And they are doing whatever they need no, to I'm do. I'm asking if they are no longer in the custody of the DSS. No, no, at all. I mean, the matter was taken to court and uh, the courts um, freed them. So they are free citizens and they don't have any case to answer to their respect to you. Hello, me, Ola Jeng Bese, counsel to Sunday Bowls AIDS. Thank you for talking to us on the program. Thank you very much.